So next stop is up here in the LGN, deep down in the middle of the brain. It's part of the thalamus. Um, and we're gonna skip over the LGN, even though it's pretty cool. Um, uh, it the, the most interesting thing about the LGN is it gets 10 times as many inputs from other places besides the eye, other places beside the retina, okay? So it really seems as though what the LGN is doing is gating that information. Here's a pipeline of visual information coming up from the eye up to the brain. It's gonna end up in primary visual cortex. And the LGN is this kind of gateway that regulates which of that information is gonna get sent up. And it regulates that information based on inputs coming from all over the brain, okay? So we're skipping over that. We'll talk about attention in a couple of months and that will be a key part of it. But for right now, um, the visual information makes one synapse in the LGN and then the neurons that they synapse onto in the LGN send their axons all the way up to primary visual cortex right here. In me, it's right there. Okay? All right. Um, so now we're up in primary visual cortex. Okay, primary visual cortex has a million different names, including primary visual cortex, but also V1. It's sometimes called area 17. These are all the same thing, okay? So here it is in a human brain, right here. Most of it is inside here, right? So here's a brain where if you removed my left hemisphere and you were looking at the medial side of, of my right hemisphere, you would see this. There's a fold in the brain right there called the calcarine sulcus, just a kind of fold in the cortex. And that's where primary visual cortex lives, okay? All right, and a little bit sticks out on the back. All right. Um, so primary visual cortex is important because this is the first part of the cortex where visual information lands coming up from the eyes, okay? Um, also, there's a very subtle thing about visual fields. So let's see if we can do this here. So is everybody oriented with this kind of gross picture here? This is like a slice of the brain like that. So you get the eyeballs and the whole thing, primary visual cortex here. You can see it's mostly inside, back in there, right? Everybody oriented? Okay, this person is fixating out here um, at that point. And so what you see is they've shown the, this person's visual field in green on the right and in red on the left. And the key thing you need to know, which is very easy to get confused about, is that you probably all know stuff crosses over in the brain, but what crosses over is not eye of input, it is visual field, okay? So it's not like your left hemisphere V1 process this information from your right eye and vice versa. No, that's wrong. What happens is because of the way this wiring works, that some of the stuff crosses over and some of the other stuff doesn't, what happens is each V1 processes the other half of the visual field, okay? That's what's represented in the fact that this one is processing, this is left hemisphere V1 processing right visual field, everything to the right of fixation. Everybody get this? That's different from eye of origin because each eye sees most of the visual field. So you can try this right now. Okay, fixate on my nose again. I should put a dot there for convenience in this lecture. Um, so fixate on my nose and close one eye and see how far you can see out in the periphery. You can probably see blurrily both my hands. Now close the other eye, keep fixating on my nose and you can still see both of my hands, right? In fact, you can see considerably farther than my hands. What that's showing you is that most of your visual field overlaps in the two eyes. There's a little bit of stuff way out on the edges that you see over here only with your right eye, over there only with your left eye. The nose blocks a little bit in the center, but basically those visual fields overlap. So each eye is basically getting the same input, mostly, okay? And yet what the brain does is segregate that. So the stuff, this little map of the world back here, the stuff that lands from the right visual field on the left side of the right eyeball crosses over and the stuff that lands on the right side of the right eyeball does not cross over. And the upshot is you get segregation by visual field, not by eye. Cool? Yeah. 